Welcome back to the channel guys. While I haven't found a good spot to run the no prep car just yet, I do have the perfect spot for running the dirt drag truck. I won't lie, this was supposed to be more of a mud drag racing video with all of the rain we just got, but the field actually soaked it up pretty quickly, but that still left us with some really nice smooth flat dirt to try to lay down a couple of hits on. To get back into this, I'm starting with just some 66 foot passes, just trying to see if we can get a little traction with those paddle tires. You can see it was obviously hooking pretty well right off the hit and staying pretty straight until it got into the harder packed dirt. It would just get on top of those paddles there and lose all traction and spin out. I really couldn't get any good passes down even with pedaling a lot so I decided to go ahead and try a different spot. And again, I was able to get some pretty nice straight tracks on the launch but again had the same issue. So here I decided to start playing around with some of the throttle settings in the transmitter. I slowed up the throttle curve a little bit, hoping to have a little less power earlier in the run, but unfortunately that doesn't really work out too well because if you're mashing the throttle all the way to 100%, that curve is very quick and rapid. It doesn't slowly ramp up. So long story short, I had the same issue over and over again. We kept getting pretty nice launches, but right after that nice launch we would lose traction which led me to start pedaling the truck yes i know we're losing speed in et when pedaling but that's not the aim of the game today today the point is to actually just make some passes i want to get some longer pulls down so after i got a little comfortable realizing where i needed to pedal and how i can make longer pulls I decided to try a full 132 foot pass and that's when this happened. You might have thought it was a bit of a blowover, but really and truly the body mounts failed again, just not as bad this time. But why not continue testing and learning even without the body, right? Again, we saw a lot of the same stuff, just having to pedal to really get any sort of passes down. I will say the dirt being kind of damp, but also a little dry like this, although it didn't lend to really good traction, it was really fun to run in. Some pretty good rooster tailing off the launches. And although it wasn't fast, it is pretty fun to drive when it's a little sketchy like that. I was able to hit 30 miles an hour one time on a 132 foot pull. I definitely think this truck has more in it, even on just 2S. But before my batteries died out and I picked up for the day, I wanted to try something. This is the vision I first had when I decided to build this truck. I wanted dirt drags, but also throwing some obstacles like jumps in there. A little pile of cane here in the field worked out pretty well for that. So I tried it out. I was actually pretty impressed. Had some of my best passes at 66 feet. You can see I was able to hit 25 miles an hour in 66 feet, which definitely tells me the truck's topping out pretty fast if I only hit 30 and 132 feet. Overall, I did learn a lot today, even though I wasn't able to get too many full pulls down. Like how to pedal the truck when I need to, as well as like I mentioned with that speed, maybe we're topping out a little quicker than we need to. I do think the truck is set up well. I really just think it had a lot to do with the surface today that I struggled with. Here's some proof of that. I made a couple of quick little launches just on the grass. And although my yard is nowhere close to level and smooth, as you can tell by the hopping and jumping around, this thing launched really well on the grass. So that's about where we ended today. You can see I ended up finding some mud anyway after trying one of those passes with the jump in the middle of the pool. The good news is nothing broke on the truck besides that one little body mount in the back that's pretty easy to replace. I've been really looking forward to having good access to be able to test this truck out and run it. Now having that access to the headland like I do. Let me know in the comments below if you're looking forward to seeing more videos like this one with the dirt drag truck in the future. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe so you don't miss any new videos coming to the channel. As always, thanks again for watching. Peace.